Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan, and I'm here today with a DJI Spark tutorial video, and today we are diving into intelligent flight modes, and the first one I'm going to do is the intelligent flight mode known as Quick Shot here on the DJI Spark. So first things first, over on the left side, you will see the three white icons, the very bottom one, the little remote icon, and guys, we are in the DJI Go 4 app. You're going to want to click on that little remote icon down in the bottom left, the little white remote icon to enter intelligent flight modes. And with the DJI Spark, we have one page. Um, and guys, remember this is as of January 28th, 2018, latest firmware update as of January 28th, 2018. Now we're in our intelligent flight modes. We're going to click the top center icon, quick shot. So as you can see, tips comes up and it says, drag a box around or tap a target on the screen, then tap go. I'm sitting here in the back of my truck so I'm going to aim my gimbal down just a little bit. We're going to call my truck our, uh, whoop, what are we doing here? Stop. Uh, no, sir, stop. Sorry about that. I don't know what was up that. There we go. And you can see the little icon comes up, the little car icon, and it recognizes my uh, truck as the um, object or our subject. So... Now that we have us selected, you will see down there in the bottom, we have four different um, types of quick shot that we can do. The first one is droney. Now guys, please keep in mind that on a droney, the whole purpose of it is, is it kind of, it's like a selfie, but with your drone. And what the drone's gonna do is it's gonna fly backwards and up a little bit. And as soon as we hit go, it's gonna record for us and it's gonna do its path at a certain percentage and it'll show you and then it's going to stop recording and come back to us so i have vi i'm visually looking up at my drone right now and i see that there is nothing behind me that the drone could possibly run into as far as it being um the drone is in a good altitude to where we're not gonna have no problems so we have drony selected as you can see and we're going to tap go now as you can see it says three two one and here it goes, and as you can see on the right where the record button is, it's recording and it gives us a percentage sign. And it's doing this all on its own, I'm not touching it. It started recording on its own, it's filming on its own, everything, and it's 50% done, 60% done, 70% done. It's gonna go until, see, so what I mean is, is with the droney right there, that quick shot, what that's good for is to kind of reveal where you're at, kind of reveal a landscape and, um, or you can actually even you know i could have drawn that on a tree and uh, it would have went back and revealed so it doesn't have to be you that's the object or the subject but and i'm not i'm still not touching the sticks it's coming back all on its own right to where it was when i started so that is very cool so now let's look at the next quick shot okay so we got to draw our box again and then we are going to do circle now with circle, it says the aircraft will circle around a subject, maintaining the same distance at which circle was enabled. So keep that in mind, guys. You wanna make sure that you're at an altitude that you're not going to run into any trees or uh, you know any uh, natural or man-made structures. And I should be good right there. So now I am going to click go. And three, two, one, here it goes. Now it's going to do a circle around me and just like on the uh, droney, if you look at our record button over there on the far right, it gives you a percentage and shows you how far through the uh, process we are. So right now we're about 25%, about a quarter of the way is done. And it's going to uh, keep circling here. And we're about halfway through. And I'm not controlling this, it's just doing it all on its own. This is a uh, quick shot. So this is a very cool little, uh, uh, cool little quick shot you can do if you're just wanting to do a quick, easy circle around yourself. And then just like a little bit ago, it's gonna stop recording and it basically, uh, it ends up where it started. So moving on to the next one, let's draw our box around us. And the next one is Helix. Now let's see what Helix says. Okay, I've done Helix before. And so that's why it didn't pop up with our tips. And what the Helix does is it does like a circle around you but it also i believe rises in altitude so again you want to make sure that you're above anything that might cause problems and we are going to hit go we are doing helix quick shot and notice well there it goes it is going to 
uh, there it goes doing the helix. It goes a little bit faster than uh, circle. And as you'll notice on our height, we're going up. We started about 70, now we're 77, 78, and we're about 40% done through our shots. So see, it's doing a circle and it's going up. So these are just kind of quick little different cinematic type shots that you could get of yourself or whatever object or subject you want. Um, that's the whole purpose of these quick shots, just kind of adds a different unique angle where you don't have to control the drone and it just kind of makes it a little, a little more easier than having to uh, manually control it and get these shots. So now Helix is done and as you can see it says quick shot has ended, aircraft is flying back to the start point. So that is very cool. And then guys we have one more quick shot here on our DJI Spark. And I believe it is the one they call Rocket. So we're going to draw our box around ourselves. Then we're going to select Rocket. What Rocket does is it just shoots, I believe it, what it'll do is, is it'll just shoot straight up. I'm controlling this right now, I'm just getting it set up. What it, what it does is it just shoots straight up. But the, uh, the camera angle, the gimbal, it'll stay fixed on you to where it'll rotate down as the, rock, as the drone goes up. So we have rocket selected, we're gonna hit go. Three, two, one, and blast off. That's corny. But anyways, here we go. So again, just like on all the rest of them, I'm not controlling it, it's doing its own thing. As you can see, that didn't really work all that great, but it did keep us. And it's not very windy at all. I'd say we got about a hmm, eight to 13 mile an hour wind. And you know, the DJI Spark is not the biggest drone in the world, so that may be causing just a little bit of problem or issue with that rocket shot. But guys, that's basically what Rocket does right there. And then of course, it's gonna come back down and return to its home point. Guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the uh, DJI Spark uh, quick shot intelligent flight mode tutorial video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that uh, thumbs up button. And please be sure to subscribe as I will be going through all the intelligent flight modes on the DJI Spark. If you just got the Spark or you're planning on getting it or you just want to uh, downright learn more about the DJI Spark. Guys, I enjoyed it. This is Dylan. Have a great one.